I didn't even know what an echidna was, but I almost sat on one. It feels wet. Did he just lick my ankle? That was not sit down. <laughs> I do know what a boa constrictor is, but I've never touched one before. This is the weirdest thing I've ever felt. The San Diego Zoo Safari Park is not a petting zoo, but they did let this blind guy experience some of their cooler animals in a very special way. Oh, wow, that's her touching me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you are so cute feeling. So come along and see what I got to experience. Pete, what are we doing today? Where are we? What are we doing? I am a leopard and or cheetah printed up because we're going on a safari. We're at the Safari Park Wildlife Preserve here in Escondido, and I'm gonna go try and feel as many animals as I can, or as many as they'll let me. When was the last time you went to a zoo? I think Banana and I walked around the San Diego Zoo. I didn't get a heck of a lot out of it. The last time I actually saw something at a zoo had to be like 20 years ago. My name is Stacy, and I brought Armando. Armando is an armadillo. Cool. This is the uh, southern three-banded armadillo. They are the only armadillo that curls all the way up into a ball like this. Now, I can let you touch his back. I can touch Armando? Yes, you can touch him. All right, where's Armando? Armando is right here. Whoa, that's, am I touching him? You're Whoa. touching him. He's about the, he's it's about a leopard. softball size. He's yeah. Not, I thought he'd be hairy. Is this the back I'm touching? This is the back. And is, is his head like all tucked up inside? It's yeah, all it tucked like towards me. Does he run? He does. He rather scurries. Do you have him on a leash? No, he's not on a leash. He's a nocturnal animal, so he's not super active during the daytime, mostly. But when he comes out at the safari park, he loves to skitter around yeah. and smell his environment. It almost looks like he's encased in a shell, but this is his outer skin, and the hair is on his tummy, and it's very much like whiskers yeah, on a cat or a dog. Yeah. Armando, where are you? He's right here. There, there you, you go. Are. Ooh, you're a quick little dude. Hey, bye. I lost you. Now, a lot of people, when they first see this animal, guess porcupine or hedgehog, but it's not even related to either of those animals. Oh. Have you ever heard of an echidna? Before? Never heard no. of it. Knuckles, no, Knuckles the echidna no. from Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, yeah. Wait, is because spiky? he's very spiky. And if you go the wrong way, it will hurt. Okay. So if you want to... Which way do I go? Yeah, this way? Yeah, if you want to help him. You put, guide my hand. I don't want to get stabbed so, by a... Yeah, you, very oh, yeah. yeah, Spiky. Very spiky. Oh, I wouldn't right? mess with that guy. Exactly. Where's the belly? Here, let's this see there. so cute. That's his claws. Yep. No, I felt... Oh, it's belly. so squishy inside. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so, What's his name? Chi Chindi. Chindi. Yeah, there you hey, go. Hey, Chindi, I'm afraid perfect. to touch you. Yeah. Can I touch you? <laughs> you want to go towards... There, uh, yep. Now go that way? this. Yeah, ah. perfect. Yeah. I'm petting a... An echidna. A echidna named... Uh, wow. Well. Chindi. And then you go that way. That's... Oh, yeah, that, that's totally... That's pokey, right? That's like no joke. Spiky. Yeah. Thank you out. Hi. He's gonna oh, it's touching me. He's yeah, getting stuff all over your shoes. Too. He's touching oh, me. He's gonna grab your foot. It feels wet. Did he just lick my ankle? That was Do not sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bug suit he got on you. Oh. oh my god. And he's not small. <laughs> Holy. So David Boa is his name. No way. Uh, That's and good. He That's is good. a red tailed boa constrictor. <laughs> he's so hot. And Which way does it go? Down to your left. This exactly way? how you're going. Ew. So, what you're feeling is about the first third of his body, you can keep going down. If I felt you in the ocean, I would probably <laughs> pee my pants. He's trying to get you. What? <laughs> Tell me if I need to move. Where is his face? If you hold your hand flat. No, you said he bites. To, <laughs> he doesn't bite. He doesn't bite. I'm going to hold your hand here. Yeah. You'll be able to te feel his tongue flick. Oh, I can feel him. He's licking tongue. me. <laughs> Excited. He's so good. Yeah, he's, you, he's into you. Do you have any mouse or rat on you? No. Oh, good. Then you're, you're good. Dog. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Oak Coffee Barn. My name's Alexa. This is Michelle. We have um, one of our Osmo Coffee that we're going to see today, and he loves like tactile reinforcement. He loves a good scratch, and he also oh, loves cool. He said he wanted yeah, yeah. Oak Coffee. Yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His name? His name is Noki. Noki. So you can keep going. You're going to reach his ear. ear. Oh, hello. That's a big hard ear you've got. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a giraffe. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's got like a... Um, Very short. He feels oh, like velour. Cool. Whoa, there's something hard up there. Yes. What did I touch? Those are going to be his Asa cones. Those are those bone-like protrusions of his skull, so um, giraffe do cool. well. He feels so cool. Something happened. Two that's inches done. from your hand. Whoa. There you go. There so you that's go. the bottom of his chin. There you go. Do you want it? My dog likes it under the chin right scratch. Here, yeah. You, you like that? that? That's perfect. Awesome. There you go. Now we're buddies. Ooh, he really likes that, actually. He does. He, like Look I said, that. he's very tactile, so he really enjoys. Um, no, okay, now. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> I heard that. I heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he can reach up between you. It's got an inch from you. Do you want my? There you go. Oh, you just took it. You just took it. Delicious. Fresh lettuce right there. 
There we go. Oh, there we go. I got it on my legs. Yeah, all the padding in the back is like a built-in seat, and you're gonna be flying down uh, in similar fashion as like a ski lift, except okay. you're gonna be going about 45 to 60. What? Ready to rock, it. I am ready to fly. Off. Bye, banana. See you at the bottom. I feel like the actual one's gonna be very scary. Oh, I'm there. Peter, are you ready for the most dangerous part of the tour? <laughs> I heard this is it right here. It's not the zip line. It's threaded. It's my arch enemy. Right there. there you yeah. go. There's one. And then there's three more. One, two, three, and one more to the ground. Alrighty, so on the way down, we want to make sure that we're holding onto those two straps on the side with your uh, equipment. You can obviously be holding onto that as well. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart. We just want to make sure that we're not screaming. Three, two, and one. Whoa, that's a fast count. <laughs> oh my God, this is terrifying, but I'm not allowed to yell. Ugh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I don't know what's going on. This is really fast. Okay. I don't know where the end is. It's terrible, something flew in front of me. Okay, it's fun, I'm having fun, I swear. I really wish I could tell what was going on around me. I'm taking my glasses off, just for the feeling of the light. Woo! Whoa, there's the end. I found the end. That was horrifying. <laughs> I thought I was gonna pass out in the beginning. I had nothing, nothing. It was just, you know, all black tunnel. And it just kept accelerating and accelerating, accelerating, like, um, feels uncomfortable. So my name's Dan. I'm one of the wildlife care specialists here. And this right here is Alice. She is one of our wildlife ambassadors. You're gonna be, get to meet a number of these today. She is what we call an African gray parrot. So when I say wildlife ambassador, essentially what I mean by that is these are individuals that live behind the scenes that we bring out for training sessions like this to give them an opportunity to get up close and personal. Now coming on in on the left is Mr. Mongo with Annette and uh -huh. Mongo is another one of our African greys. Alice and Mongo here are uh, two that do actually live very close to each other. They both can make lots of different vocalizations and what's kind of interesting is I personally think their vocalizations and the sounds that they mimic are an interesting reflection on their own individual history. History. So Mongo here. How about a duck? No way. So one of my absolute favorites that she learned to make that I can just absolutely imagine Alice making the sound and then different people around her getting very interested in it is this one. Radio. Well, that was a nice one. Radio. Can you bark? Can you bark? Oh, that's the cutest bark. <laughs> How about a wolf? Oh, weather. <laughs> say hello. Hello. Good job. One is kiss. Radio. Good job, Alice. That's insane. That's so good. Oh my and god. And this is Ruby, the oh one and only. Where's Ruby? Right in front of me? Uh, underdeveloped when they're first born. I'm gonna bring her up really see. close to you guys to offer her food here, but she'll put her hands on Oh you. wow, that's her touching me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you are so cute feeling. Little paws. Mm -hmm. She's got some pretty serious claws going she on. She does, yeah. And be no worries, you're so Freddy Cougar. You're so friendly. <laughs> now All you're right, perfect. So now you can go right ahead. You want to go right, back. right on the back there. Perfect. <gasps> so soft. I know. You are very, very soft. soft. Oh my gosh, so soft. That's ridiculous. Very different from the hands, right? Yeah, like cool. I said, like yeah. paper versus like a fleece blanket. <laughs> so she like being touched? <laughs> she does enjoy it, but you know, just like any creature yeah. much on her terms and just leave it flat okay and she'll put her hand oh that's so you. funny she puts her hands up when you put it out <laughs> hey me and you were buddies now yeah i know so she's a, a really amazing kangaroo um, oh so cool to feel her got a fantastic i said very laid back personality cute little tyrannosaurus arms i know that's very very strong back legs though i bet Those yeah yeah super muscular super powerful that allows her to hop right across a lot of different terrain and of course, a very thick muscular tail as well. Yeah. Uh, does she have ear, like and big she's ears? She's got like a kickstand yeah. right yep, now. So here, she's let me hold back well, on she's, it. There you go. If you want to fill her up here. Can I move? There you go. What is that? What is that? That's an ear? It's an ear. Oh, you got like a big <laughs> sticky up ear. I know. And oh. she loves coming out in here, folks. Does she? Mm -hmm. All right. That's you nice. We're going to try to sure? speed hop. <laughs> so because Later, speed hop. Come on. Here we go. Oh. All right. 
Oh, I think we're gonna switch gears a little bit. You guys ready for Julius? Not ready. soft and fuzzy like the last yeah, one. Not soft and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my, this one's cold. <laughs> the other guy was hot. He was in the air conditioning. Wow. Oh my yeah. gosh. What up, Julius Squeezer? Wow, this is just a big it's muscle. A Burmese yes. python, so. Where are you going? He's all over. He's like, I'm ready to explore. This is, oh, there's something going on under yeah. here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your this whole top layer is all like movie. It's all squishy. Yeah. But you can feel. Basically, as far as bones go, he's got obviously a skull, spine, and yeah. lots and lots of ribs. And yeah. then way down. Whoa, he's his flexing. His tail starts. Yeah, yeah. He's tail. I'm taking my hand off the tail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the tail feels different. The tail feels different than the body. It's, ew, it's like, yeah. The tail feels funny. It's like it's like a harder. Don't tickle it. Yeah, okay. Snakes feel. Wait, he's in front of me now? Yeah. He's Where's, the, right for Brooks. Crazy. Where's the head? Over there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he doubled back? Yeah, he doubled yeah. back. Wow. Does he have any ladies in his life? Yeah. Any ladies? 14. <laughs> They're just human. <laughs> I've got a nectar tube, and at first I was going to drink it, but then they told me it's to attract butterflies because we're in a butterfly palace and aviary. So there's butterflies and birds. And if I hold this out, one should land on it. This is a blue morpho butterfly. Oh, cool. Hello, blue butterfly. Look your face. Yeah. Okay, don't be scared. I'm a friendly guy. <laughs> How was your day in the wild? That was one of the more incredible days I've ever had. Because, you know, I lose my eyesight and I know I'll never be able to see those animals um, ever again. But this experience allowed me to get up and actually feel a bunch of animals that I never thought I'd be able to experience again. So this was like just for a change, it kind of got me speechless. That was kind of an amazing experience for me. That was a blind or not blind. Most people don't get to touch a kangaroo. Yeah, right. I got right up there with the kangaroo and the snakes and everything. It was, it was pretty amazing. Triumphant. <laughs> 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 